tell you what, you've got incredible audio. So what state are you in? Uh, what's the state? Back to you. We're on the Delaware Bay. We're on a fishing vessel. Holy smoke. So you're on a boat then, is that right? So you're marine mobile. <laughs> you're a five and nine into Canterbury in the southeast of England. Back to you. Oh, is that right? Okay, we thought we were talking to somebody over in Jersey. Hey, well, Jersey's not too far from me, to be honest. And I'm sure you mean Jersey as in um, uh, over in the States. But um, yeah, come back with your name just one more time. Jonathan. Hey, we got you there, Jonathan, 100%. And my name's Kate, and I'm in the south east of England, Canterbury. Back to you. Oh, Roger, Roger. I think I've seen... Uh, I yeah, come to think of it, I think I heard uh, you and Moa Junkie on, uh, out of North Car or South Carolina on YouTube over there. Hey, that's right, Jonathan. So, um, yeah, we often talk to the Moa Junkie. We're very lucky. Um, we, we seem to get South Carolina pretty well. But that is amazing. Uh, you're a five and nine um, over here from your, from your fishing boat. So that is brilliant. Uh, what kind of antenna are you using on it? Uh, back to you. Hey, I'll tell you what, that's pretty awesome. So the antenna, what is it, like a, a mobile aerial, is it, uh, Jonathan? Back to you. Uh, it's like uh, two big sticks. Excellent. Wow, that's awesome. And it's, it's especially cool because we're on the ground plane as well. Uh, we're not on a beam, we're on a Serio 827 on the stick as well. So that is pretty awesome. Back to you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's uh, sounding pretty neat because we're sitting there waving back and forth there. <laughs> you know, as the wind blows, you know, we're listening really well. Hey, well, that is pretty awesome there. So is the sea pretty rough today there, uh, Jonathan? Is, is there big waves coming in? Yeah, we probably got about four foot waves there and the wind's blowing uh, probably about 35. Hey, that is pretty crazy. Yeah, we, we've done a little bit of sailing. Uh, we've sailed, um, well, quite a, quite a way uh, from England. So um, yeah, we sailed across the Atlantic. So I know about big waves, uh, back to you. <laughs> roger, roger. Okay, this is pretty neat there. I didn't mean to mess you up, but I didn't know. I thought it was New Jersey that I was talking <laughs> to, so... Uh... Hey, that is no no problem. You're not messing me up at, um Yeah, that is so cool. And I'll tell you what, propagation's been shocking today. Uh, to make the, well, to make the connection um, onto your fishing boat is pretty awesome. So, um, where's, where are, whereabouts are you? What's the location again? Yeah, we got that. Well, we definitely check it out. Hey, thanks very much there, Jonathan. I'm, I might leave you with a frequency because um, if you can hear me in England, uh, you'll be able to hear some others. So um, enjoy your fishing day. Um, I hope the sea uh, calms down a little bit for you. Uh, this is Charlie Echo 01, Operator Kate. Okay, Charlie Echo 01, Kate. Hey, it was a pleasure there for a while here. Uh, I'll listen out for you again. Uh, usually we're just sitting there on the internet when we can. And, uh, of course, we're fishing. But, uh, hey, appreciate it. Pleasure. Hey, nice one there, Jonathan. Oh, so you're not, like, full-on uh, fishing. So what kind of fish do you um, do you catch there? What's the fish? Uh, we're going after uh, sea bass and... Uh, some drum there, and uh, we got some uh, bluefish when they start running here pretty soon, and uh, you know, we got the trout. Yeah, excellent. So, do you uh, use a net then, or do you use like lines, uh, a net or a line? Uh, we're using a trout line. Oh, cool. Hey, super. I remember um, when we were fishing, we used to catch tuna, and we just used to um, like run a lure 
uh, behind the boat and they used to catch onto it but we were only doing about eight knots um, it was quite an old um, an old sailing boat so it didn't go very fast so back to you yeah, roger, roger. What we do, we go out and we set a couple of traps and uh, we set up the trout lines. And the, these are long lines and they got uh, separate hooks on them. Ah. ah, I got you. So they kind of, and then what do you do? Like collect them in um, after you finished? I'm going to have to look into this. Um, it's quite interesting sea fishing, but I think um, normal fishing is pretty boring to be honest. But sea fishing's good fun, it looks like. Back to you. <laughs> yes, we kind of enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, uh, what you do is you get you a long line, uh, 150, 200 feet long, you can start with, and uh, you start dangling about four foot of line off of it, different depths, and then you go ahead and you anchor, and uh, you pull that line on out, and you put a, a buoy on it, and uh, you let it sit there, and you go back around, and you come back around, and uh, start pulling each, and then you'll find yourself something, hopefully. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, we don't we don't have anything interesting like that over here. But um, I think the French uh, nick all our fish, so <laughs> we're kind of obsolete now over here in England. But yeah, really cool. I I really do hope you get quite um quite a lot of fish there, uh, Jonathan. Really awesome to catch you. You've been a steady uh, five and nine over here, and we're running the old school Washington uh, with a silver eagle and about 300 um, on the very peak, so back to you. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty amazing. I, I know that you talk to a lot of people up and down the East Coast, but I never thought I'd get lucky enough and talk to you. <laughs> Hey, well, you definitely made my day today. Um, well, the, one of the best contacts I've ever had um, onto a boat, so that is pretty amazing. So what's the radio on the boat there? Yeah, what we got is a 36-foot Thunderbird. That's what we call it. It's a 36-foot Thunderbird. Uh, built in the late uh, late 70s. Wow, a 36-foot Thunderbird. So um, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to check that one out. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing signal. So are you running a lot of power, or are you just uh, radio power there, Jonathan? Back to you. Uh, what we're using is uh, a Ranger RCI. 2970 and I think it does probably maybe about 100 watts maybe if we, if we treat it nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. You gotta you gotta talk to it nicely, and it might um, it might put out for you. But that is pretty cool. I don't think I'll get you on just the twelve. I I wouldn't want to try it in case I lose you there. But yeah, have a wonderful day, and I, that's really um, that's really really cool. You've made my day there, uh, Jonathan. Back to you. Yeah, it is pretty interesting because these are marine antennas, and uh, they're not exactly built for uh, citizen band, you know. <laughs> that's twelve meter there, eleven meter. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, um, what's the swar like then? It's not going out of control or anything? No, it's not. Uh, yeah. As long as I keep it at around 1.5 and they're running about 1.3, uh, it, it goes down when I speak. Oh, well, that's always good. Yeah, that's crazy. I think the aerial that we've got, um, it's the Serial 827, it's been up for about three years and the swar. Um, is non-existent. It hardly moves on the needle, so it's pretty good. Uh, highly recommended um, aerial, to be honest. But hey, I'm going to let you go and see if you can make some more contacts across the pond. I know um, there's quite a few people that sit on this frequency and could probably hear you there. So um, yeah, shout out that you're um, marine mobile and you should, you should get a lot of people coming back there, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, uh, we got we got the fuel, so we're getting ready to go out, and uh, we've still got a few hours of daylight left, and uh, we're going to be busy. Oh, we're looking for the wind to drop down here as the sun starts dropping. But uh, yeah, uh, this boat here is uh, sort of like a, a tri haul, mm. and uh, it's got about uh, seven or eight. Uh, underneath the hull going to the water and, and uh, of course we got our antenna. Wow, I'll tell you what, you, you're definitely getting out really well. It's kind of dropping away a little bit and I know I'm going to lose you, but enjoy your fishing day. 
I hope the I hope the wind drops down a bit and um, it's a bit more comfortable. Um, we'll catch you later, Jonathan. If you hear me again, please do give me a call. Uh, Charlie Echo zero one, Kate in Canterbury. Uh, we're going to call us uh, KDC 1280. It's our number here on our boat. Oh, cool. KDC 1280. Yeah, we got that. We got that 100% there, Jonathan. Seven Freeze from Charlie Echo 01. That was too cool. We'll catch you later. Seven Freeze. Yeah.